Hi guys, so now that we already have uh, this one at uh, the workstation connected to the NIC2 before moving on, make sure that on your workstation you will type ping okay, ping 192.168.1.51 just to make sure if it it should produce an results it should be, the host should be found okay if you can ping this one, then you're good to go. You can also ping the the NIC one from your workstation, and might as well just try to ping also the router from your workstation. And before moving on, so that it will just reduce the complications. Okay, so now that it's already set up like this one, uh, I forgot to show you how what my NIC1 and NIC2 things are actually what are they so this is the server okay this guy this guy is this guy okay this is the settings you can pause the video and copy it okay this one this is that one I just put their MTU because there's a, a bug in my I searched the forums for a bug in my network card so I when I put it there I was having good internet connection already and this one is not there anymore okay so uh, what we do next is that when you ping all these things from your workstation or from your server you can ping the workstation next thing to do is you need to go to your sudo etsy rc.local script this is the last uh, last script that will be executed before starting your machine so you can put custom scripts here so oh I'm sorry we edit it okay if you go here and the purpose of this video is that you want your workstations to connect your NIC2 and then this NIC2 will be redirected to the squid proxy server which is located somewhere here in the machine and then once it's con configured here, it will go out on the internet and it will share again and back again to your NIC2 and their workstations. So this is just the simple. Okay, let's first let's look at this one. This is this line over here. Okay. Actually, if you, what I did is that I set up firewalls rule, firewall rules, so it's on in just one file, but. When when I was first starting, I it, this was just this was like this one. Okay, this one, this is very important line. This is going to be your transparent, um, transparent uh, squid. Okay, what it basically does is that everything, anything that's coming from interface ETH one, this is that one. Anything that's coming inside, anything that's coming, okay, with that protocol of TCP and the port 80 you jump and redirect it to the port of your squid server okay so 3128 you redirect that and then actually this one pre-routing just before anything is done to the packets that's coming inside that's what means pre-routing okay append that to the table NAT and this table NAT is just a fancy way of saying cover cover the IP addresses of here this guys cover the IP address and use the IP address of the server okay this one actually is a different you c as you can see th this is different uh, syntax but it's also the same like this one just below okay there's a shortcut now after it's routed to this one this is what is called whatever is the IP address in CIDR form you masquerade it okay you masquerade when it's already coming out you masquerade post routing means after routing okay you cover it okay and put it in a table that is the NAT one okay and when it's going out okay this is this is already that that line okay this line, this line. it can be in an on order now this one is also important because this will enable uh, forwarding of your IP addresses that's located here. Okay, it will get forwarded to 
uh, the IP address of the server. So these two guys combined is trying to say talk to the internet so that there's no problem for your workstations. Okay. Well, this guy means that um, anything that is uh, coming redirect it to your proxy server, which we configured in the previous week movies. Okay. So just these three lines. Okay, and also configure these workstations by by this file okay oh sorry that one I think it's this one yeah this one yes so configure that in your workstation and then configure your works your server to have these lines these scripts okay you're gonna be sharing your internet connection in no time to your workstation and then re get redirected